just want to talk a little bit about my invention. Um, I call it the Mulchifier. It's, uh, it's something I came up with um, about two years ago, um, trying to reduce the amount of leaves that uh, I have here on my property. I kept um, using a leaf blower and blowing it into piles and then putting it in a compost and then I would end up with a huge pile of leaves. And it got to a point where I didn't have enough room for the leaves that I had, so I was trying to come up with an, uh, a way to make them smaller. Of course, a lot of people and I have uh, just run over them with a lawnmower again and again and again until they're down to small pieces. But then you, I ended up with small pieces in the yard and didn't like that too much. So um, I was thinking, how can I do this differently? And uh, I had a leaf blower. And <laughs> the idea came, I was in fixing dinner one night uh, and I was chopping vegetables and I was using one of those uh, food processors with the blades chopping. And uh, I thought to myself, huh, there's an idea, chop the leaves. But uh, along with that, I thought, hmm, I don't like handling the leaves twice. And most of the, items that are out there, you have to pick them up and put them in a, a mulcher or something, and uh, that wasn't appealing to me. <laughs> I've done enough picking up sticks and stuff, and uh, so I, uh, I came up with the idea of using this chopping thing in, uh, in conjunction with the vacuum. So it's doing the one process, you know, lawnmower is gonna chop to leave some, which reduces the volume, and then as it gets to the, um, the vacuum part of the system, there's another set of, actually there's two sets of blades inside. Um, when I was thinking about making this, I decided that a counter rotating blade or blades, opposite rotation of the impeller would really do the job. So I tried to devise a way to make the first set or the uh, first entry blades rotate opposite the impeller. So that took some doing. I came up with a system that in about six inches, I'm going to show you in a few minutes, I'm going to take all this housing off and I'm going to take the unit that I invented off and show you that it is counter rotating from the impeller. So I guess right now I'll just start unbolting it and show you how easy it comes off. There's one bolt on the side that just holds the unit in place. That's it. That's, that's the counter rotating unit. You can see the shafts are rotating in opposite directions. And it's only about six inches long over the whole width of it. So it'll fit right in the housing. These are, um, blades that I designed and made. They have a little pitch on them, so these also add to the vacuum process. Um, they're pitched in the correct direction, so as it's rotating, it's pulling the material as well as air in with it, so it doesn't restrict the airflow. This is lubricated with the gear oil in here. These are all, all the gears in here are um, on needle bearings, so it's fully, um, Fully lubricated and uh, supported and sealed. The housing itself is on, um, bolt is held on with four bolts, or four nuts actually. I'm gonna remove all four of them. This housing was originally a leaf blower that had a, uh, a bolt on cover uh, screen that kept the leaves and stuff out of, from going into it. I made some alterations to it and turned it turned it into a vacuum. I'm going to show you on the inside. There's another set of blades, which is the coupler, and another set of blades that drive. This is the impeller. This is the second set of blades that's inside here. This slides off. I 
I've been, as you see, I've been using this. This is fall, and uh, a little bit of work to get it off. And that's the second set of blades. These are opposite the rotation of these. So this adds as um, the vacuum in the draw as well. These are um, a little bit heavier blade. This is the drive I designed. <clears throat> this is just the, the end of the crankshaft and the impeller. It's a lock plate and a hex drive. It's a hex sleeve with two blades on it. That's basically it. Putting it back together, that's it. I designed this with hopes that this would, this unit would fit directly inside a normal vacuum housing. That's why it's so short. Hardest part is trying to line up the shaft on the way in. Basically it. Try to make it as simple as design as possible. That's it. It's installed. And it works in conjunction just like a vacuum, except when you pull the sticks and uh, leaves and everything. It reduces them down to about the size of your thumbnail for the majority of the leaves. I can do a full half acre and end up with about two thirds to three quarters full in this trailer, the whole yard. And uh, I have several large oak trees and some maple trees and stuff and uh, I guess that's it.